Hallelujah. Let me greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we all stand up? Can we just take these few minutes? We all pray. Let us all pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise, we worship you. We adore your name, we magnify your name, we bless your holy name. Here we are standing before you. Father, we are here as your children. We want to hear from you, we want to be directed by you. We want the Holy Spirit to speak with us one by one. We want your glory to be revealed unto us, Heavenly Father, as we are here today. Let your glory shine and let your light shine upon us in Jesus' name. Speak to us, Heavenly Father. Help us, Lord, to understand what you want us to hear today in Jesus' name. Spirit of the Father, Spirit of the Lord, Holy Spirit, direct us tonight in Jesus' name. Help us, Lord. Help us, Father. Help us, Spirit of the Lord. Teach us your word one by one. Teach us the meaning of what you say when you speak unto us. Help us to understand whatever that you have placed in our hearts so that we will know, Heavenly Father, that we are here to glorify and to bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the name of the Most High God be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us all sit down. Let me greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Let me once more welcome all of you tonight in Jesus' name. I'm not going to take much time, but let us go and share the word of the Lord. Can we just quickly run to the book of John? John chapter 1. Verse 17. Johanne 1, verse 17. Johanne 1, verse 17. Ray Wana. Ray Totsi. Okay, for the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and, tr and truth came through Jesus Christ. Verse 17, Rovane Malao, but about Nailway, come on, shake. Ray le Haurello, literatio, Kitcha Ovarona, catch you so Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word to speak unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me start by saying, let me greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Hallelujah. It is very nice and good to find ourselves in the house of the Lord, to hear from God and to be directed by God. I want us to go and speak under the heading that says, The Grace. The Grace. Where we have just read the Bible says for the first said for the law it was given through Moses. But grace and trust came through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I just uh, gave the teaching of today. So I named it the grace. 
Isa le ba isre le ba khiti wa ba tla ulwa ki mudim. Mudim wa ba kheta jolo kas chaba sa haye. Kalo ba kala abrahama. Ne ba pila ba le katla siya mulao wa mudim. And then mulao o wa mudim wo. Mudim wa adira roots ibi wa mogobo na kamu tlanka wa gai mushe. In other words, utlo wa na kong ya mushe. Kauru mudimu adume la mushore ya wale mula ufasi. Uri leba ba sa uzi wing, ba teba uzi iwe, leba ba sa ubonang, ba teba ubone. Those who haven't seen it must come and see. Those who haven't heard, they will come to hear about it. God allowed Moses to go and write the law down so that the children of Israel may live according to the law. That is why the book of Chama Toma, the first five books are called books of the law. Kiti book of Chama Lao, Wamu She, the law that God gave to Moses so that Moses can give the law to the children of Israel. So though it was like that, Banaba Israel, Bapila Kamalao, living according to the law that was given to Moses, somewhere, somehow, there were some instances where they will deviate out of the way of God, where they will move out of the way of God, though they know that the law has been given and it has also been written down so that they may be able to read the law, they may be able to study it and live according to the law. Hallelujah. So now as God was seated in heaven, he then realized and saw that it's really people are living according to the law that he has given to Moses. But the, a percentage, a bigger percentage of these people still are still going astray and not living according to the way that God wanted them to live. Let's say we a very simple loss. If I can compare it with the lifestyle or the kind of lifestyle that we are living today. I can say they were very much simple. You just have to respect the Sabbath. You just have to vend up in the wheel to shun some of the food. You don't have to eat them. Where you don't have to do them. That's when you'll be following the love of God and you keep the Sabbath. You have a day where you call the Sabbath and you have to go in front of God and worship and bless him. But still, it was difficult for the children of Israel to follow and to do what God wanted them to do. Hallelujah. So now where we have read the Bible says, The law came through Moses. But now grace, this one that we are talking about today, came through Jesus Christ. In other words, there is no grace if there is no Jesus Christ. In other words, grace will never work in your life if Christ is not there in your life. In other words, the only thing that makes grace to work in your life is when you have Christ Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was, I was seated at home and I was, I was thinking about these things of you know, salvation, challenges, and everything that we are meeting along the way and along the road where we are walking. We meet so many, many challenges in our lives. Then I started thinking about the grace of God. And I asked myself, oh God, why this grace? And the grace of God came to us. Why? God wanted me and you and him to come back together, our relationship to be formed again. In other words, the relationship between God and men was broken in the Garden of Eden. That's why God now came to Moses and gave him laws so that these people of Israel can live according to these laws. Now, even when it was like that, when the laws has been given, people find a way again 
to move out of the grace and the love of God. Still, they went away and live according to their desires, according to the way they think. And they even worship strange gods. They even took strange gods to themselves so that they can come and worship those gods. Now, when God was seated in heaven, when God was thinking about his love to men, when God was thinking about how much he loved us when he created us in the first place, you have to remember, God created us in his own image. But opposite was the case. God wanted us to live according to his way. God wanted us to live according to the way he ordained us to live. But then it was difficult because why? We were now far away from the statutes, the commandments of God Almighty. Then God then tried to find a way of bringing us back to him. That's where Jesus Christ came into appearance. Jesus Christ was born on earth to come and die for you and me. So that me and you, when we believe, we will find this grace so that one day we can go to heaven. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of Romans chapter 3, verse, chapter 3, verse 24. The last line of that same verse says, We have been justified freely by grace through redemption that is in Jesus Christ. We have been justified freely by grace through redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Rilera dirababa lukileng mahala raiswa khaugelo ka u lebalelwa divi ka Kriste Jesu. Now, there is no other way. There is no other option. Ya ure khaugelo ya modimo ibona ga le monna le lena a Jesu a sona ka rarina. There is no other way that this grace will be able to, vis to be visible in our lives if Jesus Christ is not found in our lives. Whatever I, I, I sat down one day, I was reading the Bible and always when I read the Bible in the New Testament, in the Old Testament also, you will find or in the Old Testament they refer to a, a, a savior, the Messiah that is to be born. But when we come to the New Testament, we'll find Jesus that was born at Bethlehem, Jesus that died for us at Calvary. Why? Because the most important reason of Jesus to go to the cross of Calvary so that we can be able to sit together once more again and speak like father to daughter, father to son. Because that's, that relationship is no longer there. That relationship is no longer existing. Now for the relationship to exist, God has to do a sacrifice. God has to do something that will bring his love, that will bring his presence, that will bring his, 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 his power upon our lives so that we can be able then to live according to the way of God. Then Jesus came. And I don't know, I just saw Fita. A Fita le khawgelo. Ntwe ba reke khawgelo ke ntwe ya botho kwa ufitisha. Grace is very, very, very important in our Christian life. Uh, you cannot make it if you don't have the grace of God. Hmm? Some of us to find ourselves re make a today is because of the grace. But because of the grace, I'm standing. Some of us here were supposed to have passed on a long time ago. But because of the grace, we are still alive. One day, a long time ago, I, I sat down with somebody. We were speaking about the scriptures and the word of God. And I said to that, that person, 
you know what? We Christians, we do make a very, very big mistakes. Big mistakes in a sense, yaure. When I'm born again, kena na ruki fitil. When you are born again, you think you have arrived. When you are born again, you haven't yet arrived. There are some things that you must possess. And when you are possessing these things, is then the grace of God will start to be visible in your life. Kwa mereko nkwale haba rikia ukuba yo ukuba kausani. Haba fitabano ulebele laba tulor. Eee. Haraka ukuba mutri ikasibere karno mutowel. That's the grace of God. So most of us now in our lifetime we think or when we are born again it ends there. Raising our hands in the altar of God and say Lord today I want to be born again. I want to live according to your way. I want to follow you every day of my life. I want to live according to your commandments and everything in Jesus name. I thank you. Amen. From there we start living seeking the grace of God to befall us to be upon us so that everything in our lives can become simple mo chare sibile rena le mathlatse una le ntwa she ba re i have the grace you can't stop me mara na wena nka o yemisha nka no yemisha ka o kwatisha fela wana pa wa yemela ruri yana mo le a bona ke re haleluya haleluya so now when we speak about the grace of god when we speak about the grace of God, the grace that has been revealed to us, the grace that has been shown to us, the grace that has been brought by our God to us. When we start speaking about this grace, we speak about the love of God in us. We speak about the power of God in us. In other words, it's not an issue of boasting. It's not an issue of knowledge is not an issue of wisdom it's not an issue of understanding it is an issue of that the grace of god is upon us that is why all these things are happening in our lives that is why una le dilo tshe dingata ngata tshe di yala nka ra maphelo a rena ke ka le bakala o re dirile ba go luka can you ask the person that is next to you when now look ile are you a just man? Or are you, are you a just woman? Eh? Or in a fetula? Nike leka ka hula pleking o baruna leba tuba u luka katao. Ah, nantua u luka katao. We are justified by faith. We are justified by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know that there are other people that cannot even come to the house of God and sit down and listen to the word of God? And the Tabaiwi is so difficult. Do you know why? The grace of God has not yet reached them. This is what I know about this grace. Just allow me to explain this. The grace of God is the unmerited favor of God that God showers upon you. Kibutu babu sina babu sina muyelo bomu dima bu chule lango dima gagao. Then bu chuo amu dima bu chule chuo dima gagao. Kala ba kala ora abu na muyelo abu na di boundary abu na ma felelo ora ora go go chemo we na wanyaka ngutena go na wiyatena. Why? Because you are working with the grace of God. There is the grace of God that is before you, the grace of God behind you, the grace of God in your sides, both sides. So I will not take our palelang. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is called? Do you have the grace of God? 
Let us go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. And let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. Let us go boldly. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. So that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. So that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you need this grace? You need the grace of God. Why do we need the grace of God? We were justified freely through Jesus Christ. So now the Bible says, me and you now, let us go boldly. Kasibiti. Rie kwale. Situlong sa kurunoni. Situlong sa bukoshi sa mudim. Oritari tole haugelo re. Ya wato ritusha aritoka. Eh? Ya wato diya inye. Ya wato ritusha aritoka. Can you tell the person that is close, you need this grace. Oya itoka haugelo ye. Babangatabarina, we are failing. Do you know why? Because we lack the grace of God. We lack, lack this wonderful grace of God. You must remember. There is love. There is power. There is intimacy. Opportunities are there. Success is there. Breakthrough is there in this grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, whatever you want, as you are a child of God, it's found in this grace. When God saves us, he wanted us to live like princes and princesses in this world. So that we may be able to go through whatever that we are coming across along our road. The grace of God. We can never be what we want to be if the grace of God is not there. Now I've seen many people reading Bibles from Genesis to Revelations. But the words that they are reading, this is the Resilo. Let's say what you are called, you are born again. But this grace is not found in you. How well you are born can you tell the person that is close to you, Arying? Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. Arying. Let us go. I can tell you seven, seven days fasting. Uh -uh. We are fellowing. 
That's it. You live the way God wants you to live. Every Mudimara, when you see sin, you must run. You do like that, you run. You don't ask God why. When God says your time has come, you believe that my time has come, and you do whatever that God is telling you. That's when you will find grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't find this grace because you are holier than thou. You are holier than thou. I will papa. You don't find this grace because you are a worshiper. We are a worshiper. And you don't find this grace because you are an usher. No. You also don't find this grace because you are a pastor like me. No. You find this grace because the chair of, of the throne the throne of God, you go there, you kneel down, you say, Father, I'm here. I need your grace. There are things that are troubling me. I want to overcome them. There are things that I cannot jump, but today I want to jump them. Help me, give me the grace so that I can be able to jump. Are we going to do that? Are we going to do that? Are we going to do that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is next to you again, you need this grace today. How are you now? You need God to speak through your life. You need God to speak to your life. You need God to speak with your life. You need God again to change your life. But nothing can come to pass or happen if the grace, his grace is not found in you. Ajitulahale mwena. Ria mtoka mdima ritoka khawolo ya mdima ritoka. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Therefore by grace I will say we have been saved through faith. And that is not of yourself. It is a gift from God. For by grace you have been saved. My mother, my father is whom whom. It's not an issue or I've been married in Makanisa family. No. It's not of myself. By grace we have been saved. Not of ourselves. It was a gift of God. And we become born again. When we become born again, we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and He comes and dwells, dwells in us. Now, now because He's dwelling in us, let us activate His being in us. Let us run to God and seek for his mercy. Seek for his grace. 
Our problem are in our pulusway. When I learn drum way, Rabbi Bijakas who are like self sufficiency. You are self sufficient. You feel that you are everything. You feel that you have everything. I did so, we are short a little where you need the grace of God to be performed and perfected in your life so that you can be and reach where God wants you to reach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it was not because of the grace of God today, Wafelamo <laughs> Ria angwi sana. Ridi ya rori leba ale. Na pilewe na uleba la rotaka. Na kia zibori kitaka. Anengasi leba ale. Shona mbutata marnashivu. When we reach the house of God. When we are here. When we have found the grace. When we have found everything that we want. That we need in our life. We forget where we are coming from. And we again forget who we met only here. After 15 minutes or so, eh? Mara, why to tell us no better strike is our balagamogreke? Listen, I'm a pie, Lily, so. Gaban dribbles, eh? Eh? It will be a nice thing. Eh? It will be a nice thing. Kanete. We need the grace of God. Retoka hawelo ya mudim. Mudim wakore hawelo lihon. Have mercy on us today. Kabare se zenga lito la vutu. Mari itenga vutu. Rivesu nebo neba funar chiba zon. So that we may be able to stand. And be able to be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. So that we may be able to conquer. But all these things that are happening. We can never be able to conquer them if we don't have the grace of the father. Can you tell the person that is close to you for that last time. You need this grace. We were saved by grace. Romans chapter 11 verse 5 and 6. About Romans 11 5 6. Nakongir na repilang wion. At this present time where we are still living. In this present age where we are still living as children of God. There is still a remnant According to the election of grace. Can we read this verse? Baroma 11. 5 to 6. Can you go to the verse? Can you go to the verse? Even so, then, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer of grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. 
mona ko ngere phelang u yona in this time that we are living in in this present age there is still a remnant of those that have been elected according to the grace are you one of them ago bo shemo tlo leng are you one of them those are that have been elected because of grace and the bible you know in khata when we go down it says and if by grace if in na le lena re pholoshitswe re khethilwe ka taba ya khaugelo go ra o re taba ye a siya mishuma siya o re lena lebere ka 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 a siya o re lena lebere ka dilo tse ka le a shara batho ba i 50 ka le tshina le a ngwa ngere a siya o re lena le takerekeng ka 5 ya masana ke taba ya o haugelwa ke modimo Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says and if it is by grace it's not an issue of works. If it is of grace hata ba ye ile ya khaugela a siya ngi a siya mishumo. Ara ri shi ya mishumo. If it is of works it is not of grace if it is of grace it is not of works these things that is happening in our midst taba tsa di ya ala mo bo gara rena batho ba modimo a se taba ya hore re bere ka kudu ni ino ba mpho ya modimo ga welo kingi ke khaugelo ba bangwe ba rena na re sa swanelwa le o katara no dula go di mo a ditulo tsa kokerekeng mo thomo wa ka me sebetse mishumo ye ne re idira mara ka le ba ka la o haugelwa ke modimo ke gona le o ya kerekeng ka dula fase ka thieletsa So now everything and everything that is happening around us is by the grace of God. Ke khaugelo ya modimo. Ke ka le bakala re modimo re file botho. Botho bo bo fitaka tsela mang. Ka ga wena o ie go modimo. Go fitha wa llela khaugelo ya gae. Wa dula fase mautong a gae mo stulong sa gae sa gatlolo his throne of glory and you beseech him for his grace upon you you cry to him for his grace upon you you cry to him that he may be able to change whatever that you are meeting the bible says this grace we need it when we have need so that it can help us Ora rona le ditulo tsa dingwe di pleke tsa dingwe we are failing a lot failing so much why because we don't have the grace of god Can you ask the person that is next to you do you need this grace Do you want this grace Wa nya ka gagwelo yena Eh O re nya fetola I want us to go and finish Can you ask the person again do you need this grace On a little like a chatting when some other places when you go to them I usually say it here on Sundays I will say you know here in Charis we are all the same We are all the same we are children of the most high god and now everything that is happening to all of us each and every one of us if modimo na ra ga getha batho modimo a chusa ba ba chusa when god was choosing the people that he wanted to choose ke ya dumela 
ebe le ke kholwa gore motho o tshona le lena le nna ne re ta ba re seyo ke nne ta ka mara jana nka gore modimo le yena a kgetha o kgetha o ya ga gaogelo ya gage some of us here we've been chosen because god is honoring our parents do you know that some of us here we are born again why because god want to save la palela la reno ka wena so that is why even some places where you are not supposed to pass o no makala u pass je u fitile u le ka nthengela yeng wa reish bothata bo re bo diang ke ka le makala hore ne ke rapela ke fast ah ah this is the grace of god why ka le makala hore modimo mola Hona le la pashilile mola le yemi mola ale tsebe modima le tsebe silo. Tsono God is trusting you. Ore wena o ka swarelela wa khotelela ka gaole ya o fileng yona. Batho ba ala ba ta bona re yena o ya phela. That's the reason. Sometimes we miss the point. Sometimes we don't see what God wants to do with our lives. That is why we don't even go to him and cry Lord. I need your grace and your mercy. So that I will be able to conquer and reach where you want me to reach. Daddy one day said to all of us he said God is saying all of us here we will be leaders. Na le lona. Le kwela ke re. So ba ngo ba ta ba na hana uri we have to be leaders ko di parliament and ah uh-uh. ah. Leader ana ko hudula ngona. so that they can be able to see that really god is working through this person mudimo ya bereka ka ra motho there is something which is different about you there is something which is different how when old yadi lo tsagao when you speak you don't speak too much you just speak a little bit then you allow god to speak further or mudimo khono phetagatsa the will and the love that he wants to show unto people It's when the grace of the Lord is upon you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you feeling late? Let us read 1 Corinthians 15:10. I will just speak it out. Everybody by the grace of God I am what I am. Ke sekeling sona ka le bakala gaogelo ya modim. And his grace towards me was not in vain. Khawele yo ga eta o nna ne se khawele ya lefela Modimo nanya ko bontsha se sengwe ka nna I am what I am because of the grace of God I am what I am because Jesus came to Calvary and died for me I am what I am because on the third day he rose again and went to heaven I am what I am because the Holy Spirit came down on Pentecost day to come and fill us so that we may be able to stand and speak about his goodness and his glory i am what i am today because god has loved me so much can you ask the person that is close to you again do you need this grace james chapter 4 verse 6 says god resists the proud and gives more grace to the humble God resists the proud and give more grace to the humble. God resists the proud and give more grace to the humble. If you want more grace from God, you must be a humble person. You must seek his face always. Be a humble person. go always to his throne and say father here i am i want you to change my life and god will continue to change your life hallelujah but share kai but shang yona can you ask the person that is close to you is ka lebala re ko classing aker are you not a proud person Which are are you not a proud person? Yes. 
to be a proud person asitaba ya hore o ganyetsa ba bangwe or you belittle others or you speak with others somehow even the answers that you give to other people can show that you are a proud person even the way you speak to other people can show that you are a proud person let us learn to be humble so that god can give us more grace we are just missing bowels of grace because of our haughty nature haughty nature ke ta tha ka mo me khwa ya rena ya o itira hore rena ke rena rena ke rena o na nto ka mpuntsang yona you are in trouble when you are humble everything to you is possible When you hear God when he speaks everything to you is possible because of the grace that he has given unto us hallelujah hallelujah Then Romans chapter 6 verse 1 It says shall we then continue to sin so that grace must abound Jonong ri jonong tsho la pele na ri ntshi ri sinya o diela re gaogalo ya modimo itale ebe ngata I don't believe we have to do that Because Jesus died once But when he died he died for us all Let us not continue in sin knowing that we will have a place to run to and say Lord forgive us Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. But now it's like we run going to sin knowing that Jesus has died at Calvary will come back and say father we are sorry. Now the Bible says must we go on sinning? Re tsontsho ya pele re ntshe re sinyana. go on lying go on pretending go on making ourselves to be like we are better than others go on doing things the way that we think they are best and they suits us can't god allowed jesus to go to calvary to go and die for us so that we can find grace and this grace will go on and on and on and on with us until Jesus comes not that we must go on and on repeating whatever we've been doing time past and time before time that is still coming we still go on doing whatever that we are doing can you ask the person that is close to you can you change can you stop sinning can we run away from sin as children of god I'm going to round up now I'm going to finish Kare do balatito chapter 2 verse 11 Ya do mela most keeping se sengwe se sengwe sa charisi most tikeng se sengwe se sengwe sa charisi ntwe e gona mara ona le ye nwari e bale We will read from verse 11 of it all verse 13 can i read for you for the grace of god that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to me and you. Ha go le ya modimo ye tsang pulo so e bona ga etshe mo batho. 
chidzi cha mdzimu cho disao chidzi wa cho bonala karne vatu the grace of god has been revealed unto us the god, grace of god has been brought unto mankind the grace of god has been brought to me and you so that we may be able to live according to faith like justified people like people who know god like people who know where they are going like people who know where they are coming from the thing that i'm saying we don't read is when it goes down it says teaching us to deny ungodliness teaching us to deny ungodliness ere ruta o gane cha buvi let me go straight to the bible so that i read it for you Okay, I wanna go back to the verse chapter 9. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness to worldly lust. 3 we should live soberly for we should live righteously five and godly in the present age likwila kere eringi for the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all men Hawelo yela ya modimo ye tisang puluso ibona ga etse go batho ka moka ene re ithotse gaogela re tshwera se nete re tshwera nke re a itshola pele ga ya re hawelo ye this grace it teaches us to deny ungodliness o gana dilo tsa u fapana le bomodimo ka mantsha mangwe o gana bobi this grace does not just come to us maybe to make us happy or so that we can get what we want only to help us when we need, we need it only it help us also o repile we live being godly people number 2 re twele di ganyo go tla lefasile eh what lilas if you want na mutho mo a pere bike ga e blue le wena wa inyaka Mutho mongwe a tsama ka mateke a ga ya All Star le wena wa hanyaka. O taba wa go utswa mose. O taba wa dia dilo tshe dingwe tshe di sintjona. O re gwetse dilo tshe o di nyakang. Ke nete ke re. If you want a mutho mongwe, this person is going the other way round. You also want to do the same. If you see people jumping you don't even know why they are jumping you also want to jump o ta roba ya mauthu Bible here we should live soberly That's what so soberly ra ring re sa taiwa Khanti nto e ta yang batho a si jwala fela Hmm can you ask the person that is close to you, are you sober? O ba sober? Ko ba wena ka mogwao. A wa tai wa ka silo. 
if you are not sober you are drunk so now baba ngwena number 1 but i work as status eh but i work in number 2 baba ngoba tai work a chalete eh ya ta chalete let's see they no longer know themselves when we reach the house of god ari ari be soba tsona le ba bangwe eh be like others behave like others if una ko ya ukitima ifita le wena kitima you know when we come into the house of the lord because of the grace that we have found in the lord we have this joy that is unspeakable we have this peace that surpasses human understanding the understanding that we have live at baba tali feeling aba fiti ka o thalogana ka mo go nna re thalogana ka wona the wisdom that we do have people that are outside they they don't have the wisdom that we have why because we have the grace of god don't expect me to be like you or don't expect me to walk the way you walk why because i have the grace you don't have the grace if i have the grace my life have to be different i'm always sober ago busha motho leng ga o fere wena wa tai wana eh we must be sober eh Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you must be sober? Live soberly. And again it says live righteously. Pilaka tuko. And live godly in the present age. Isinka na ko itang ka na ko ya na jwale. Are pilling jolo ka bana ba modimo ba batse ba ngore ba ya kai. Why because we have the grace. Nobody can stop us. Hallelujah. 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 Can you ask your friend that is close to you do you have the grace? Are you living according to the grace? Are you following the grace of God? Are you being led by the grace of God? Is the grace of God working in your spirit and your soul? Are you always at the throne of glory of the Father? For if you are always there nothing will be impossible for you. Clap your hands for yourself that you are here today in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Le ka bo xa motho leng ga o file lena rona le gaogelo na. Can we all stand up? When we come to the house of the Lord, let us cry for one and only one thing, Lord, change my life. Father, change my life. make me to be what you want me to be let your glory be revealed in my life let your peace be revealed in me i get rahale the time comes when you just enter your house or your home everybody just starts smiling When you ask them why are you smiling they said no when we see you we just become happy Why because the grace of God is so awesome and mighty upon your life We need this grace of the Father Can we raise our hands towards heaven I want to pray for you 
Father. We are your children. Father, we are living according to your grace. We have been justified. We have been made righteous. You have changed our lives and made us to be what we are and who we are today. We are also even able to stand and say we are children of the Most High God. Can you give us grace today, Lord? Can you give us your grace today? Can you give us your grace today, Lord? Father, your grace to go and prosper. Your grace to succeed. Your grace to open doors for us. A lot of people here are jobless. They need your grace. Some of us, many of us, we need finances. We need your grace, Lord. Many of us, we are sick, Father. We need your grace once more. Things are not going the way we thought they will run. We need your grace, Father. We need your grace. As we are raising our hands before you, allow the Holy Spirit to come down upon us. Allow your spirit, Lord, to minister to our spirits and our souls. Speak to us one by one. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with thy glory. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Can we all pray? Let us all pray one by one. You pray for your own self. Say, Father, thank you. Oh God Almighty, I bless you. I magnify, I glorify. We need your grace, Lord. We need your anointing. We need your power. We need, Heavenly Father, your grace. We need your mercy. Oli galabasi atloshi anda la mekiri andulo sa atalabashi etere yende riba baba le alulo si etere beshi atarakandi yende le mundi azisi etere biya rata tata tadi alulo si etere bi yendulo si ete. I worship and I bless your name. I worship and I adore your name. I surrender to you as the Lord and the God of my life, faithful Father, the I am that I am. The Lord God Almighty, the ancient of days, my Rosungwa Marunga Sindevera, Musimwa Chira, Musimwa Mangaza, Musimwa Kanukisa, Oli Rene Lamaren, Uyanda Lama Sata Labushi, Ndeleviria Tulusi, Terekeri, Ndeleviria Talaya, Riele Lebesi, Atorushi, Anda Rakatari, Ndolobusi, Terekeri, Ndu, Labi Esi, Temendi, Andolushi, Terekeri, Anda Lava, Sata Lakari, Atolo Yende. Rima mama mama ndi atolo kori televeri andolo kosi atarabashi kori atolo bori ndelevesi andara katari abashi nderekesi televeri andu. I glorify your name. I magnify your name, Lord. I'm standing before you, Father. Let your will be done. Let your grace be visible upon our lives, Lord. Father, speak with us one one by one. Let your grace be visible upon our lives. We want you to touch us, Lord, and reveal thyself unto us in Jesus' name. We want you to help us, Heavenly Father, to be what you want us to be in Jesus' name. Father, we want to stay in you. You stay in us, Heavenly Father. We want to be led by you. Let your grace fill us, Lord. Rima 
riendele vesia tolo koshienda le bebesia tarava yandolo koshienda nda halava sitere keriando lolo shia tarava riendele keriando rimeme mendi endele vosia tarike tere verianda lava shitere keria rototori asanda lava riati kere keria shuto robori anda rimama mama ndi andolo saya rakatara variendele ya shitere lele siata I give you the praise I give you the praise I give you the praise oh God I worship you and I adore your precious mighty name you are holy you are holy you are holy you are holy you are worthy you are holy you are righteous you are awesome you are loving you are faithful you are just you are great you are a good God you are a righteous Lord help me to stand Lord help me heavenly father give us the grace heavenly father to stand in faith give us the grace heavenly father to do your will Give us the grace, Heavenly Father, to do what you command and what you say in Jesus' name. Give us the grace to stay by your side. Give us your grace to stay at your feet. Give us your grace, Heavenly Father, to listen and hear you as you speak. Give us the grace, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Maya labasiya tulo shika yanda labasiya tulo yende keriya talabasiya talabashiende. Ya la basia tulo kolienda la basia tala kashianda la baya sata la kariundo Riele bese teke rianda la basia tulo kusia tala baya ndelesia tulo ya Riete nile menda la 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 siya tulo boyanda la baya sata la kariyande libia Riebe bebe besi ya tulo koriondo lobo siya tala baya ndele kerienda la ba Ribe me 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 riando lo siya tala ba shine Father we give you praise Lord we give you glory we raise our hands in worship. We raise our hands in praise. We are to your mighty name, Lord. We are to your precious name, Jesus. Let your will be done. Let your grace be visible. Let your anointing be visible. Let your power be visible. In the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you the praise, Lord. We give you the glory. Teach us your word more and more. Let your will be done upon our lives more and more. Let your grace be visible. Oh, yeah, Labasa. Tarabashi Kerebushin. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Lord. Oh, Father, when we come before you. Father, we see your greatness and your righteousness. When we come before you, Lord, when we kneel down before your holy throne, speak with us one by one, Lord. Speak with us one by one, Jehovah. Lead us every step of the way. Direct us every step of the way. Lead us, Heavenly Father, let your grace be visible. In the name that is above every name, Lord, I know. That Father, when you speak with us, you speak with us for you loved us. You have loved us from the beginning, Father. Glory be unto God in the highest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master Jesus. I give you the praise and I give you the glory. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Let your name be worshipped. Let your name be worshipped. Let your name be glorified. We give you all the praise, Lord. We give you all the glory, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Can we raise our hands high above our hands to heaven? Father, I thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for speaking with us, Lord. Thank you for touching our souls, our inner man, our spirit. Thank you for allowing us, Lord, to be saved and to be your children. 
as we are standing before you right now, Lord. Your presence is awesome in this place. Your spirit is awesome in this place, Lord. Father, we'll never deviate from your word and your teachings. We'll always walk and be directed by Holy Spirit. We will always follow you in whatever you do and whatever you say. We will always do as you command, Father. I am here we are standing before you, my God. We are just coming to you, Heavenly Father, crawling before your throne today, Lord. Fill us with thy glory. Fill us with thy anointing. Fill us with thy grace, Lord. Fill us with your presence. Help us, Lord, to stand in this present, present age to speak of your goodness and your kindness. Make us examples, Lord. Let us be examples so that others may know that there is a God who saves through us. We appreciate your kindness and your goodness. We appreciate your love. We appreciate every, everything what, that you're doing in us, Lord. We appreciate your peace in our midst, Lord. We appreciate your anointing in our midst, Father. Let your will be done in us, Lord. Let your will be done, Father, in our spirits and our souls. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the grace that you have shown to us, Lord, and given unto us. Thank you for redemption of our sins. Thank you for releasing us today, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit of the Father. Thank you, my underlasser. I adore your name, and as we are going to our respective homes today, Father, teach us along the road. Speak with us along the way. Guide us along the way, Lord. Let your spirit, let your anointing lead us and guide us. I pray in the name of Jesus. The devil is under our feet. Now we know the truth. We are going to walk according to the truth. And we will strive to do what you say. We will fight a good fight of salvation. We are going to stand so that many may come to you. Because they will be seeing the example of me and others. Living according to your commandments. In all these things, Lord, we just want to say thank you. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen.